Happy birthday to legendary actress Jennifer Love Hewitt. It's Xavier and I'm back again with another video. This rant is sponsored by Starburst. Yeah, I know I ripped the paper up. I was eating some. But, in the meantime, it's time to do a recap of last night's game between the Houston Rockets and the Golden State Warriors. The Rockets' first game back after taking a couple of days off due to the All-Star break to wrap up the first half of the 2019-2020 NBA season. Now this is the second half of the 2019-2020 NBA season. Let's review the highlights before I get my thoughts. Rockets killed the first half when they outscored the Warriors in the first quarter, 37-38-17. to 17. Then they outscored them again in the second quarter by a point, 34-33. At halftime, Rockets 72, Warriors 50. Rockets outscored the Warriors in the third quarter by 10 points, 37-27. After three, Rockets 109, Warriors 77. Rockets only lost the fourth quarter by a deuce, 28 to 26. But they will still take the victory by 20 points, 135 to 105. Rockets are now 35 and 20 as the Warriors fall 12 and 44. Speaking of the Warriors, let's start reading their scoreboard. Andrew Wiggins, 22 points, 3 rebounds, no assists. Jordan Poole, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. Damian Lee, 10 point, 13 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. Marquise Chris, Christ, 10 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. And Draymond Green, 4 points, 7 rebounds, 7, 4 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. For the bench, they get 37 points. Eric Paschal, 12 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. Kai Bowman, 8 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. Juan Toscano Anderson, 10 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Kevon Looney, 4 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists. And Alan Smilagic, 3 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Now for the Rockets. James Harden, 29 points, 3 rebounds, 10 assists. Russell Westbrook, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. I'm going to get on to Russell Westbrook in a moment. Robert Covington, 20 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. P.J. Tucker, 15 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. And Danwell House Jr., 11 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. For the bench, they get 39 points. Austin Rivers, 7 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. Jeff Green, 17 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Ben Malclamore, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Damar Carroll, 2 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Thabo Stefalosha, 2 points, no rebounds, no assists. Michael Frazier, also 2 points, no rebounds, no assists. And Bruno Caboclo, no points, 1 rebound, no assists. Do I really have to explain who was the player of the game? It was none other than Mr. James Harden with 29 points, 3 rebounds, 10 assists. 
Tomorrow night, the Rockets go to Salt Lake City to go against the Utah Jazz before they head back home on Monday to take on the New York Knicks. Then they take on the Grizzlies on the Weekenders 20th anniversary, February 26th, this Wednesday. Then they have a two-game East Coast trip next Saturday and next Monday against the Celtics and the Knicks. Then they have a two-game road trip March 5th and 7th taking on the Clippers or one-game road trip taking on the Clippers March 5th. Then they have one game on the road on March 7th against the Hornets. Then they have a two-game road homestead March 8th and 10th taking on the Magic and the Timberwolves. Then they have a two-game road trip March 12th and my friend Mike Henry's birthday, March 15th, against LeBron and the Lakers and the Trailblazers. St. Patrick's Day, they have a three-game homestead, St. Patrick's Day through the 21st, against the LeBronless Cavaliers, the Sacramento Kings, and the Shottown Bulls. A three-game road trip, March 23rd, 25th, and 27th against the Mavs, the Bucks, and the Pacers. Make that four on the 29th against the Pistons. March 31st against the 76ers. And that's all the games I'm going to read for now. Although, they have a two-game homestead April 2nd and my sister's birthday April 5th taking on the Warriors and the Raptors Rockets got back at the Warriors after they were naughty on Christmas Day when let me see how much did the Warriors beat the Rockets on Christmas Day Okay, here we go. The Warriors beat the Rockets on Christmas Day, 116 to 104. But now, last night, the Rockets got back at the Warriors by 20 points, 135 to 105. They lost to the Warriors on Christmas Day without the presence of Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. Now, last night, the Rockets beat the Warriors still without the presence of Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry. Open up a can of whoop ass, or should I say they laid a smackdown on the Warriors' candy asses, who is still last place in the Western Conference. The Rockets are still the number five seed in the Western Conference. Let me check the rest. Hold on, I'm going to get to Russell Westbrook in a moment. I didn't get to watch the second half because I had to go to bed to get ready to go to work. So the Jazz are the number four seed. The Clippers are the number three seed. The Nuggets are still the number two seed. And we all know the Lakers are still the number one seed. The Lakers are still trying to hold on to be the number one seed in the Western Conference ever since the tragic death of Kobe Bryant. I still can't believe... That shit happened to Kobe, his daughter Gigi, and those seven other passengers. My day was going great on January 26th until that happened. That was the one day that I will never forget. We lost Kobe Bryant on January 26th, 2020. But let me get on to Russell Westbrook real quick. Russell Westbrook got his first technical foul in the first quarter, which means he had his 12th technical. Then he got his second technical with six minutes left in the fourth quarter and got ejected from the game. He is three technicals away from having a one-game suspension because they said if you get... 16 technical fouls, then you get suspended for one game. Russell Westbrook, I don't know what the hell were you thinking, bro. 
But that shit was not cool what you did last night. Trying to pick a fight with the Warriors. Come on, bro. You need to get your shit together. That was not cool, man. Like I said, I didn't get to see the second half last night, but I'm pointing out that Russell Westbrook did a dumbass thing trying to pick a fight with the Warriors when he should have been focusing on the game. So, Russell Westbrook, I hope you get your shit together tomorrow night as you guys go against the Utah Jazz. But congratulations, Rockets, for beating the Golden State Warriors, getting back at them after they beat y'all on Christmas Day. But that's going to wrap up my thoughts about last night's game between the Houston Rockets and the Golden State Warriors. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Rockets rant. If you're not new here, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down and leave your comment down below. And I'll see if I can try to do some video reactions tomorrow. But if not, then I'll catch you on the next one. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Houston Rockets.